Hello, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome to my channel, Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa, and I am here to bring you another weekly love read. We're going to dive on in and ask the cards about the one who is spying on you. So we're going to find out who is spying on you, who this person is, why they're spying on you, and I guess whatever else we can dig up in and around this person, okay? We're going to go freestyle with this reading. If you feel that the messages are resonating for you, then be sure to hit that like button. Drop your comments in the comment section below. And if you subscribe, then I will love you forever. <laughs> no, seriously, I will appreciate if you subscribe because it means that you are supporting the growth of my channel. But more importantly, guys, you will be notified of every time I release a new video here, especially when you hit that little notifications bell, okay? So let's dive on in. Okay, we've got the Ace of Wands coming through. So straight away, I feel that this person who is spying on you is, is hugely attracted to you. We've got more Wands energy, Nine of Wands. I feel this person who is spying on you is very interested, is very attracted to what they see. I feel that you occupy this person's thoughts. I feel that this person, yeah, is very attracted to you. Um, we've got the magician coming through here. We've got the temperance. We've got the three of wands. Okay. With the Magician here, I'm getting Aries energy. With the Temperance card, I'm getting Sagittarius energy. And we've got Two of Cups. Look at that beautiful Two of Cups. I'm curious and nosy. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Death card. So for some of you, this person may be a Scorpio as well. Or for others of you, this person who is spying on you may be someone from the past, okay? This may be an ex-lover, um, an ex-partner, um, someone that you had a relationship with a long, long time ago, or just someone from your past. This may be someone from the past, someone that you knew way back at school, or and it could be that they're coming back around here. This person who is spying on you, for some of you, for a small percentage of you, they may want a second chance here with you, okay? I feel like this person is looking to reunite with you here, okay? Um, or maybe just even go out with you and hang out with you and, I don't know, celebrate with you, you know? Let your hair down together. So... I feel this person who is spying on you either sees you already in a relationship or they can see themselves having um, a relationship here with you. I feel like this is someone who is ready for a relationship. You know, the Two of Cups, this is two people coming together, forming some kind of loving partnership. And I feel that this person who is spying on you is ready to form some kind of partnership here with you. Or they're ready to, you know, go from single to mingle, you know, single to taken. This person who is spying on you sees you as someone who they value, okay? This person values you. They enjoy your company. They enjoy spending time with you. They get something out of your connection, okay? Every time you talk to each other, Every time you converse with each other, they feel supported or they want to come in and support you. They just feel there's a kinship here. I do get the sense here with the Ace of Wands and the Magician that this person really wants to get something started here. So this person who is spying on you, I feel like they want to manifest a relationship here with you. They want this loving partnership, okay? They want this with you. Mm. I feel with the magician here, this person is very good with their hands. I feel like they've got a very um, strong mindset or a very strong will here. Whatever this person puts their mind to, 
they achieve. Mm. I feel this person with the temperance card, this person who is spying on you has been very patient. Maybe they've been wait, patient, waiting patiently for uh, you to, I don't know, become single. If you've been in a relationship for a long time and you, you know, you've separated, it's like this person's been waiting patiently for you. Or maybe they've just been single for a really long time or they're waiting patiently for the right person to come along and they feel that's you. Okay, with the three of wands here, this person who is spying on you is either waiting for you to approach them or I feel like they're waiting for the right time to come towards you. Okay, I feel like this person wants to shift things up a notch. Okay, they want to shift things up a notch. And I feel because the three of wands is looking to the two of cups, I feel... If this is someone that you've just recently met or you've just recently connected with, I feel like they definitely want to take it from casual to something more serious. They want to take you off the market, basically. Okay, they want to take things up a notch. They want to step it up here. There may be some distance here, like physical distance with the Three of Wands. It's like this person who is spying on you may need to travel to come towards you here. But I do feel with the Ace of Wands that this person is feeling inspired to take action. Okay, like, I don't know, send you a message or just do something here to initiate initiate things okay this is an initiator i'm getting strong aries energy for some of you i don't know i feel like with the magician and the ace of wands strong initiator energy you know this person's using their initiative we've got the nine of wands here too this is someone who is not giving up they're not willing to give up for this partnership or relationship okay this is someone who is willing to hang in there and fight for a relationship this is someone who's not willing to give up mm. this person who is spying on you with the nine of wands seeing this nine of wands there's kind of like a bit of a barrier up it's like half a fence is built and the rest of the fence is sort of unfinished so there could be, this person who is spying on you may feel that there is some kind of barrier between you and them. Okay, so there may be, this barrier may be causing some kind of a blockage that is inhibiting this person from coming towards you. But it's, it's not going to stop them from coming towards you. I just feel like it's maybe held things up. It's not going to stop them. This is an energy of someone who is not giving up anytime soon. Look at their wand. It's taller than them. I, I just, yeah, I'm getting just this strong sense that this person isn't going to give up. No matter what's separating you or whatever's in the middle or getting in the way of you and them fully coming together, they are not giving up. They are going to knock that fence down. Because what did I say? The magician is, some, is someone who, whatever they want, they go after, they get it. They make sure that they have it. They make sure that they get it. They make sure that they attain it. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. Even with the Knight of... Wands here, we've got Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I get the sense here that this person is, especially with the Knight of Wands here, um, that this is a very charming individual, very attractive individual. Uh, this is someone who makes you feel 
like nobody else exists in the room when you're hanging out with them. With the death card, I did say that this could be someone from the past, or it just could be that this person who is spying on you is heavily undergoing some kind of transformation or just changes in their life. They could be going through some kind of transition. They could be in the process of relocating here, for example, with the Three of Wands and the Death card. Okay, this may be someone who is willing to, uh, you know, move suburbs or move states to be closer towards you. If they live an hour away, this person is willing to relocate and come to your city or come to your town. Okay, this, this may be someone who is in the throes of changes in and around their career or their job. But I do feel like this person who is spying on you is heavily undergoing some kind of transition or change in their life right now. This person who is spying on you may even be someone who comes towards you and says, hey, I'm, I'm ready to change or I've changed. I'm a completely different person. So there's your reading, guys. Hopefully this was insightful and helpful. And until next time, take care. Bye, guys.